Hi, I'm Sarah from SewingMastery.com, and we are so excited to finally be reaching the Husqvarna Viking Topaz sewing machines. We're going to start off with the Topaz 20 with the embroidery part of it. So these are really going to get you into all the sewing and embroidery options that Viking offers. So if you have a Topaz 20, 30, or the 50, these will be things that are very similar to you. Now, if you have older Husqvarna Viking machines, you're going to love watching some of these videos because there's a lot of things that are going to cover across the entire board. So join us on Facebook. We have a Facebook page. We've got the website and tons of videos that you can see. We're going to start off by opening up one of the machines and showing you exactly what comes with it. And then we'll get into all the videos. Remember, we're doing a video on every page of the manual. So they're nice and short and you can just watch the parts that you need and get right back to sewing or embroidery. So with the soy machine, what you're going to find inside is a brand new machine. It's always so fun to open up your first machine. Right along the side is this kind of triangular item. This is going to have all your manuals, uh, power cord, there's a loose buttonhole foot. I always say make sure you kind of corral that, get that in your accessory box. A USB stick and cord, your accessories and user guide and the, the part that shows you what actually are the built-in designs that come with your machine. So set that aside, we'll get that all put together. Of course, your machine comes with a hard case. I'm gonna pull it out first because kind of the way the styrofoam is, it's just easier. And with the machine, we've actually kind of pulled out the base styrofoam too, but that's okay. We also are going to open up the embroidery module, so don't go away just yet. We just want to show you, these are some handy items that will keep it secure if you're ever traveling, want to put it back in the box. Your foot control, and then the power cord gets plugged into here, so once that's in, that's a great little storage for later. Some people go, oh, I've lost my power cord for my foot control, and I'm like, no, no, it's still tucked inside, and you just have to remember it's there. All right, so here's our machine in all of its glory, ready to get plugged in. What I'm gonna do is just get a few of those things out and about and put some of these to the side. And I'm gonna put the case down below here and our machine off to this side because what I wanna do is show you what comes in the embroidery module box. And this is a much lighter box. And one thing to know if you ever wanna purchase when a Viking's um, bag that you can actually um, put over your shoulder and carry or put on one of the roller base bases, what you wanna do is do not throw out the styrofoam. The styrofoam actually goes into the carry bag, protects the unit, and then gives the bag the shape. Without it, the bag's just kind of a loose bag, and well, that just doesn't work out very well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this over and let gravity kind of help us and take the box straight up. A lot of times people just bring the embroidery module in the box to class, but once they do that a few times, it's so much nicer to have one of the bags. All right, Let's see if I'm up or down here. We are up. Okay, so inside what we have here is the embroidery module. Now there is a certain way that this embroidery arm does need to be positioned to get back into the box there is a park option on your machine. So you can set the machine to just tell it to park it and it goes right into the place. Now, if you don't and it's already off and you're about ready to pack it up, you can move this arm as long as it is not attached to your machine. It's gonna be really hard, but you can slide it back and forth and kind of get it into position. So, embroidery arm. Oh, down below, yes, here it is. See that big red clip? You cannot embroider without pulling this clip out. Once you pull that out, just discard it, we don't keep them either, but I'm gonna go ahead and pull mine out. It's kind of tight, squeeze it a little bit. There you go, now the clip is out and we don't have to worry about that for later because a lot of times I forget about it myself and I try to plug it in and it doesn't fit. You have a nice bag of accessories. There's some thread, some scissors, some clips for the hoop to help kind of hold it all together. Even some stabilizer and fabric in here to kind of get you going. Now you get two hoops with this machine. You get the nice 200, uh, 260 by 200 hoop and what I call kind of that nice little medium size hoop. 
the 120 by 120. So this is the largest hoop you can put on this machine. There are a lot of other hoops in between these two sizes and even hoops that are smaller than this for some of those hard to get into places. But we're gonna do a variety of videos on stabilizers, on threads. We're gonna get into the sewing machine. We're getting into the embroidery and you are going to fall in love with this machine.